working in the media teaches you that we have no real power here. We're all just spectators, watching the human race tear itself apart. But every once in a while, something as small as a photograph or a video can have the power to save a life, or to rip it away. Ma'am, please stay back. We screen everyone very stringently. But I'm not infected! I should be over there with them! Man. I swear, you can check my blood! What the fuck is going on here? I got off the phone with the Pentagon for this. What's happening? Sir, I I'm handling it. She thinks we scanned her improperly. Impossible. You're code 91. Get back in line. I fucking know what that means. I'm not going back over there to die. You can't make me! Put her back in line, but don't touch her. Yes, sir. I, I know my rights. I'm not going back there. I know my rights. I demand a lawyer. <coughs> She's not a fucking animal! She's not concerned you, Thomas. Just because she's sick doesn't mean she doesn't have rights. She's better off dead. Fall in line. You wanna say that to the camera? Target is surrounded by multiple personnel carrying swarms. If I were you, I would fall in line to be the little cameraman we need you to be before something bad happens to you. Well, it's a good thing you're not me then, isn't it? They came to my house in the middle of breakfast one morning. I guess they heard of my work record with the network, and they gave me a choice. Cover the spread of the virus, or be drafted into a combat unit. Either be a cause of death or just an accessory to it. That explains the uniform. So, what was your experience like with the mission? The call sign was Hitman 2-3. Hitman. You figure it out. So the rumors are true? Orders straight from the White House. They told me never to let civilian eyes see this, and I made sure they did. How could you? Hey! I never killed anybody. I did everything I could to stop this. What do you mean? You ever hear of the Romanov Protocol? The DOD didn't want this getting out. It's a failsafe based on a program designed by our Russian advisors. Hitman 2-3, this is Hitman 2. What's the status? Over. Find anything? Just tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, keep looking. We're burning daylight out here, right? Yes, sir. What are you looking at? Back to work. The thing about control is you never really are aware that you're losing it until it's too late. The kid's alright. She's not. Ma'am, we give us a baby and set to the left. No, 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 let me stay with her. Ma'am, ma'am, please. please give us the baby and step to the left. It's only temporary. Please don't take her. We don't have time for this, hurry up. 
No! No, please! And hold me fast This magic spell you cast This is la en rose When you kiss me Heaven sighs And though I close my eyes I see la en rose When you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart A world where roses bloom and when you speak, angels sing from above. Every day would seem to turn into love. So give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be la vie. How old are you? I'm 16, sir. That's how you know you're losing the war. When you're sacrificing the ones you were supposed to protect. I'm sorry. Don't be. You seem to have made quite a life for yourself. Yeah, I guess you could say that. This used to be an antiques dealer. Started off just a place to stay and... I don't know, it just felt like home. Don't even bother. It's all emergency broadcast service signals, that's it. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe I can increase the range and make it come in clearer. We're not gonna find anything else out there. You think there are others out there? Like what? Like the existence of God? No. Other people like us. You're not serious. You can't really be conceited enough to believe that it's just the two of us. What do you think, this is an Adam and Eve situation? Uh, no, definitely not. I didn't mean- I know what you meant. What if I said there was a chance for you to meet your wife again? I'd trade it for anything in a heartbeat, but that's not possible. No? Now you're just toying with me. What now? You're just gonna say anything? Oh, I see. Good act. You almost had me falling for it. You could just be spoon-feeding me bullshit right now. I'd be none of the wiser. <coughs> Is this a freaking game to you? Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something I've realized. I've walked through every city and heard the dead silence on the entire eastern seaboard. There is nothing out there, and if you could turn the range on that thing up to a thousand miles and span coast to coast, you wouldn't find anything, because we're done. There's nothing left. I should be near me, and please, don't This is not a recording to anyone left in New Jersey and Philadelphia. If you are out there, I am Anastasia. I am not a threat. I'm just trying to start a revolution. God knows we need one.
Location. Broadcast is being received in junkyard 20 clicks outside of Newark, New Jersey. We have visual on one female, one male. Do they know they're being watched? Negative. They're in the dark. How do we proceed? Bring them in. We can't pass this up. This is Stalker 2. Roger that. 